Why hello, and welcome back to my daily long play stream, uh, where I play through whatever my current game is at the moment for a couple hours just about each day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday through Thursday. I'm playing through Doom Eternal on the Xbox One, as you can see. Let's get started here. Now, yesterday I managed to um, play through a very long level, at the end of which I acquired the Super Shotgun, which seems to be a nice uh, fix-all weapon for problems with the giant uh, demons I've been encountering in this game, especially at close-up, obviously. And uh, now I find myself on a train, a demon train, if you will, uh, closing in on the location of the second Hell Priest. So, yeah, let's just get started here. Uh, I've been listening to this week's Giant Bomb podcast, the Giant Bombcast, and they've been talking about this game. In fact, I was actually listening to it moments before I started up the stream. And they were talking about how long these levels are. Apparently, they're all this long. So, yeah, this is going to be quite a grind for me. But, regardless, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still having fun. It's only my third video, so this thing to get started here. The Hell Priest's position is stable now, and his guardian is somewhere in the facility ahead. Uh, then the bombcast this week, they were talking about the need for more engagement in the game's systems, such as the chainsawing of enemies to get more ammo, glory kills to get more health, and um, setting, doing the flame belts to get more armor. And yeah, I should probably be doing that. And to that end, let's get started on getting some ammo because I'm already low. things off with a bang right now, right out the outset here. Some armor down there. And we got some platforming. Take a look here. I do I am keeping an occasional eye on the chat just in case anyone pops in, but if I somehow miss you, I do apologize in advance. It's uh, pretty hard to look away from this game for too long. Except in like quieter moments like this. Alright, um, let's take a look here. Hey, look at that. A new weapon mod. Let's see what we've got here. Now, if I remember correctly, with Doom uh, 2016, there was no weapon modding for the Super Shotgun. And it looks like that's the case here as well. So, um, let's take a look at what we've got here. Firing the plasma rifle builds up excessive heat that can be released as a powerful blast by pressing left trigger. That might be useful. I already have that. Yeah, let's get that. That way I'll have at least one mod for all of my moddable weapons. Some ammo. Get some of that. Get some health. Nice little refueling station here for all of my things I need refueling. All right. Shoot him in the back. Okay, uh, it clearly wants me to switch to the super shock button with this. I punched that guy to death and he exploded. Run 
me. I'm not seeing any of these things. Oh wait, there's one. So I'm gonna ignore it for a moment and just do this. I probably don't actually have to use the super shotgun on it. Clearly a super shotgun blast would be more efficient with that. Unless of course I miss twice like that, in which that case it is less efficient. This is annoying. Okay, can you stop making that sound, please? I realize that sound is vital um, information for letting you know about your health status, but it's still very annoying when you hear it repeatedly as you take damage, heal up, and then take more damage and heal up again, and yeah. Why did it s I'm out of shotgun ammo, apparently. We got one of those jetpack guys to deal with. Um, let's go grab uh, this thing. Maybe not. Just blow it up. I guess. There we go. At some point, trying to deal with the um, enemy's weak points, the large enemy's weak points, becomes more trouble than it's worth. So it's just best to. Um, Especially those rocky guys. These ones, not so much. They're slower moving and easier to hit their weak spots. Better. As I've missed twice in a row. These are only there to provide uh, ammo. I don't think they even attack you, to be perfectly honest. Oh yeah, they do. They do. Just belatedly. Fuel. Shotgun ammo. I 
I don't know how I was clo how I was close enough to be affected by that, but apparently I was. And once again, out of shot with you. Yeah, they were talking about on this week's bombcast about the severe limitations that there are in this game as far as ammo goes. You don't have a lot to start off with. Maybe I should switch to the pulse thing. Oh, the range on that is pretty good. Alright. Get out of the hot zone a little bit. Grab some ammo here. My grenade. Can I use it again yet? Not yet. Get some more ammo. Very smart of me. Ah, the rumba. I don't know how I took damage there, but whatever. Thanks. Blow this main cubis up. Like that. Literally, blow it up. Okay, I don't know why no health was being generated from that, but apparently I'm actually good on health, so it okay, doesn't matter. Alright. So an enemy somewhere around here, is that it? Really? I realized I was low on ammo. This thing. Alright, that was stressful, but I made it through. I was trying to engage with as many of the game's systems as I could. Although, I still don't find myself using the flame belch at all. No, if I can even remember what button that's on. Is it Y? Armor does not seem to be as vital in this game as health. Maybe the fact that you start out with only being able to have up to 50 of it is a, re is a reason for that. I feel like the chainsaw should be the thing that gives you both ammo and armor. They, shouldn't, they don't need a separate um, mechanic for getting more armor, but whatever. Um, I guess that there was some extra health, unless that's something that respawned or something. I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's move along here. What do we? these things. I think a demon would be trying to impress me, but whatever. Oh, 
Okay. A demon on... On a hover tank sort of thing? Maybe? That's how I read it. I don't think that means it can fly. I think that just means it's just sort of hovers along the ground. Basically like tread treadmills, but um tank treads, but hovering. No. Know. Know what that stuff means. Alright, so um yeah. A blue door, a green door, and a red door. The red door is locked. Possibly because of... Uh, the green door is the door... Of, green is always the color of the direction you want to go in, right? Right? Apparently I missed a thing over there. Are you supposed to punch those in the air? Huh, apparently doesn't really want me walking across that. Yeah, it really doesn't. Alright, um, have to keep that in mind, I guess. Okay, so that's where the uh, objective marker is, so I guess that is the primary track. Now here's the thing, listening to this week's Bombcast, they said something about um, being able to fast travel around the map to parts uh, that you've already um, been to. They didn't really specify how, some sort of warping, so it's like when you get to the end of the level, you can go back and collect the stuff you've missed. But I don't see any kind of um, indicator on this here map of how you would do that. Pan camera, rotate, zoom, center. Uh, there's no, like, um, cursor for which you could select a spot on the map from. This is the entirety of this map because I got the map doohickey. And there's no, um... Fast travel point that I can see. Maybe there's something on here. In the um the tutorials that says something about it. Fast travel. Fast travel allows you to teleport to predetermined points in the map. Use it to find additional items, complete optional encounters. Fast travel unlocks near the end of a mission. Alright. So, since I'm near the beginning of it, that's not going to be relevant at the moment. So, yeah. Let's, um... leads down there to another combat encounter. I think that's what these things stand for. What these things indicate. 
combat encounters, but it doesn't show it on the Legion there. Does this mean this is an optional one? That looks like some sort of boss. Let's uh, try to do this. Well, that was close. Surprise, I actually managed to grapple that. So, those are things you grapple. Okay, got it. You grab onto, I mean. got the sticky bomb attachment for this as my main thing for the regular shotgun. Even if that was the only use for it, taking care of those things, it'd be worth it. And yes, doing that is better than trying to aim the grenade, which is not great. And the cooldown that is rather silly. I couldn't necessarily tell which one was the critical path and which one was the optional with those doors there, but whatever. Wait, what? Uh... just happened there. I hit B and it didn't dash. It's it wasn't it still didn't dash. I don't understand that. Which one of these meters here governs my dash recharge? Okay, the one there. I got it. That looks like a combat encounter. Something above me, isn't there? I wonder how I get up there. And what is that supposed to be?
Whatever it is, it's following me. I can't argue that that isn't more effective. It's just, you just can't. It's illegal. <laughs> Alright, let's, um... I guess see if we can get up there. It looks like we can. Maybe. thinking I have a triple jump. <laughs> oh dear. This isn't Ori in the World of Wisp. But if it was, oh man, that'd be something. No, you guys go away. actually worth it, but whatever. I'll take it. Uh, looks like I should be able to get to whatever that room, whatever that thing is. I think it's a room. deck. Yeah. Have to activate it. You can't just, um, yeah, this is a room. All right, let's see here. I can only actually have one more thing activated. So I'm going to have to choose this carefully because anything else I get after this is going to be, I have to change it. That seems like it's useful. That that's probably the one I'll get. I don't really find myself using this much. Killed by equipment or under the influence of equipment. I'm not sure what that means. For temporary slowdown, once the rune is fully drained, I need to wait for it to recharge. Hmm. I haven't had that much difficulty with platforming. This stuff I'd rather get. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to get this one. You know, I don't know if I have actually have these things equipped. Yes, I do. Okay. Now, 
what in the world is that thing? That's... interact with I can't even go in there so I'm gonna say no right. looks like we've got some platforming to do uh, don't go down there see what this thing does lowers down how long does it stay down Yes, I am just sort of watching and observing to see what happens. Will this thing retract? These things don't seem to be moving anymore. Alright, so it looks like I need to do some long jumping here. At least this is not as uh, difficult as it could have been. Alright, another fork in the road here. In a combat arena. This is, is um... Not sure, but I feel like this is the other end of that one fork in the road. Which I can no longer find here. Alright, let's uh, grab this thing. barely missing. There we go. Take out that as soon as I can. Ah, crap. <laughs> There's two of those things, that's not cool. What if I can, um, Ah. 
Hmm. I will equip a super shotgun once I get over there. Uh, I think the other one just sort of fell dead. I hold left trick on this, it makes a clicking sound for some reason. Okay, I'm just looking at this. Okay, what? I thought I was I thought I did pretty good there, apparently not. What? Yeah, right, let's go find some more ammo for this thing, I guess. So I'm not dealing with that nonsense. I couldn't grab onto that thing. Shells. Great. There's nothing here I can use for that. Equip this thing, hope for the best. Maybe just fire the rockets at it? I don't know. I don't want to deal with that thing putting up things blocking me when I'm trying to do this annoying platforming sequence. Seems to have disappeared, actually. What? I don't understand what I did wrong there. There we go. It's unnecessary. idea what that did. Alright. What? Really?
like some more platforming here. I deal with that nonsense. Um, how am I doing on this stuff? I'm doing good now. Okay, I'm looking at the um, HUD here. Okay, it's on the right side. sure if that's what I was supposed to do, but it seemed like it. It didn't necessarily give me a lot of time. Those things do start descending as soon as you land on them. Or grab onto them, I mean. Uh, let's take a look here. Looks like that's the next destination, and then across that gap to there. Okay. I wish this game would uh, abide by its own rules. Because I totally nailed that jump. somehow made that jump. Oh, one of these things. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, health or ammo? Which seems better? Yeah, I kind of don't care about these abilities that they're attached to. I'm just... I think I'll get ammo. Alright, 20. Still not great, but it's a little better. 120 here. That's actually much better. Alright, 11 rocket shells, 200 plasma rounds. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much gonna forsake armor for the time being until, at the very least, my ammo count is where I, is at, is maxed out. Possibly help as well. Get out of here. Uh, oh, Sentinel battery. I need that for my castle. Right? There's a lot of different stuff in this game. The red key card. Was it not the Slayer who brought the demons to us? The Con Maker has you to thank for the gift of Argent Energy. It is you 
who are responsible for your people's suffering. Wait, wait, wait. Apparently I need to be, uh, not just trying to sidestep like that, but dashing. Okay. I'm guessing that's the case. Excuse me. Maybe I should be, um... Shotgun is awesome, folks, because you can do that. Also, you get some more ammo for it. Ironically, the those uh, sentinel brain things with the turrets on them are less uh, threatening to you at close-up range, which is, of course, the best range for the super shotgun. So it's like, oh, there's you have every reason in the world to get all up in their face and no reason to try to hang back and snipe at them from afar. Yeah, you can take out their turret fairly easily with a uh, well-placed, uh, zoomed-in assault rifle round, but why not just blow them up with the super shotgun? If I just split it open. Alright, let's get some armor. Let's take a look at the map here. Okay, it looks like on the other side there's um Apparently I missed quite a few things over in that direction. Ah, nice if I could just like automatically pick up some of these things would speed up this game a little bit uh, okay um missed another one of those there's a lot of stuff I missed a little bit of a problem is that uh, while you can supposedly fast travel to predetermined points once you um, get near the end of the level, I'm not entirely sure when that's going to be. Will the game let me know if I'm at that point? I don't know. I hope so. guys literally look like they're from Quake. <sighs> Little combat rooms. quite a few of those things. What's this thing? If 
moment that I thought that it was going to be a boss. But nope. Looks like that boss fight is down there. I'm guessing. Oh, I need some more shotgun ammo. Uh, oh. Is this an elevator? I'm waiting for it to start moving. Nope. Well, there's apparently an extra life in there for some reason. there to there to there and it looks like there's some um, this. grabbable surface there so we got some platforming Look at it and try to observe. Oops, that wasn't so cool. Got another medallion over there. did remember about this guy. Um. So now I got that medallion, let's try to focus on where I'm supposed to go from here. Looks like there's a, um... Okay, so I came from underneath there, but I have to get to there. The question is... Wait, I can shoot this thing, I okay. bet. There we go. About to say the question is, can I make that jump? Watching this uh, demon guardian being assembled as I go along. Okay, interesting take on the whole process of a boss fight. Imagine a Mega Man game doing that. You see the Mega. You see what the whatever man being assembled in the background on a conveyor belt as you go through the stage? Think they ever did something like that? I don't know. I could imagine it during that, but that doesn't mean anything. So let's see if I can, um... Any chance of any, like, health items? I mean, there's an extra life down there, but... There's a question mark. There's a book. All right, I got that extra life. Never mind. Hmm. 
Yep. I bet if you were to go down there, you would, um... Nope. Let's just say that isn't the way of doing that. Um, hmm. Now you get down there. Well, I'm certainly in great shape to take on a boss, now am I? See if I can find the whole, um... I'm still not sure where the blood punch meter even is. See if I can find the fast travel thing. That's what it looks like, apparently. because I'm low on that. Get some health because I'm definitely low on that. But look, there's more stuff lying around. Okay. How about if I um, get some of this stuff here?
Ah, oh, this thing that you said was so the finest work you've ever put, and now it's a useless machine. Great. Okay, whatever is putting up those uh, force fields needs to die. I think it's the same. Uh, there's the big. There's the big guy. <sighs> hey, look! I am once again low on ammo of everything. Maybe that's not the best. Okay, seriously? beat out my first try with the help of a couple of extra lives that is but hey you know what those extra lives paid off certainly helps I avoided dying long enough to uh, actually accumulate them so anything else in here that I should try to get before I leave I don't think so And I see no sign of any fast travel points on the map. So how about if we just, um... Wasn't sure if I was supposed to do that or not, but... Oh, great, another one. I guess it's too much to ask that, um, that the freeze grenade work on this thing. them dag damn it so apparently these are enemies we're gonna keep encountering as the game goes on wow um that, that kind of sucks
Nope, not going up there. Here we go, here's some health. Some armor. Excellent. Maybe I'll switch to the regular grenade here. I bet it has a faster cooldown anyway. And it will actually damage that thing, I bet. Assuming I actually hit it, that is. Delicate dance of trying to manage ammo and health and also dealing out damage to these guys. Ah, crap. This guy. Ah, they are positioned in a bad way for me. Ah. I'm where this will help a little bit, but I need health. Rocket launcher out. If I can get rid of one of them, that would be a huge uh, bonus for me. Excellent. Smash the heretic. I ran out of shotgun ammo at the worst possible time. Rocket launcher is not the correct weapon to use at point blank range. Just in case that is an obvious. <laughs> Right. 
I need ammo, not just health. There's the guy with the annoying shields I need to take out at some point if I can. some ammo and then take on the big guy. Just like that, I need help. At least I got a few good rocket launcher hits on it, I think. Uh, oh yeah, I see its health bar on the top. Is that its health bar? I don't know. If that is, that's good news, because it's low on health. Um... Or is it? Excellent. Smash the heretic. I know on how to go. Jump off the edge of the map. <sighs> I need, uh... There we go, that is its health. Okay. Health to its next phase. Yep. Maybe my super conservative strategy is not a very good or effective one, but maybe it's a new way of doing it, but whatever. I kind of am making it work. Super shotgun this fool. That is not what I just said. That is missing him at point blank range, practically. But I'm an expert at doing my way. I'm an expert at missing enemies at point blank range of the shotgun. Okay. The beast! Does, does he not seek enhanced power? Gifts! To aid him in his 
Noble conquest. Perhaps in return for my... Yep. Cool. Perfect time for someone's car alarm to go off. Yeah, I did not notice at all any sign of a um, fast travel thing popping up there. Corruption cleansed. There's apparently a vinyl I could have collected. Hmm. No idea what the XP gives you, but whatever. Cool, back to the Fortress of Doom. Ugh. Seems quite quiet in the chat. Which is usual for my streams. YouTubers are a dime a dozen nowadays, and I'm not even worth that much, so I'm not surprised. Our system is being corrupted. This game has come far enough. I will have her transmission removed in a moment. Despite the loss of the priests. Earth will fall, and my people will survive. I will answer the human's prayers, reward those that believe. This hub was of maker design. She knows the systems well. The final priest will be moved to a more discreet location, so our work can continue without further disruption. The third hell priest signal is no longer visible to us. There is a 41.3% increase of demonic activity at the nexus of the initial invasion. That is the largest gore nest on Earth. I will set the portal coordinates for the super gore nest now. Just in case you're wondering, I was not in control of my character at all until my until my character's gun appeared, so. That would be why. All right, let's uh, take a look at stuff here. What's this musical? see if I can find my way to the office. It's apparently a medallion down into the right. Look at that. Apparently the BFG is done. Ballista. What? Okay, it's not the BFG. It's something else. 
Hmm. I like listening to the Bombcast how they seem to be offended by this picture of Doom Guy holding a bunny rabbit. It's like, oh, it's so Duke Nukem. And they seem to be... They seem to actually be offended by this uh, room here. They, they seem to be embarrassed by it. I think this room is awesome. I don't know what their problem is. I guess they don't like being reminded of gamer culture or... Or what they do for a living or something. I don't know. Some people are just easily offended or something. I don't know. Can I, um... I don't know. I was hoping I could listen to that record on the turntable. Maybe I can. That fires a twin beam of superheated argent, vaporizing its target on impact. Oh yeah, we have um, ten of these things, so we should probably take a look at um, getting some upgrades, eh? Did hear that uh, the did hear some useful hints on the bombcast, useful advice, like uh, the combat stuff being um, probably the most useful. Dash refills more quickly, that seems useful. Faster weapon switches, that, yeah, I'm just gonna get that. Bomb takes less time to cool down after firing. Okay, this is um Demons remain frozen for longer. Damaging and killing frozen enemies will drop health. That seems useful. Damage dealt against a frozen demon is increased. Again, useful. Not a lot useful, but Each demon killed by the grenade explosion spawns scatter bombs. Fire twice before recharge. Hey, two grenades at once. Environment. I've not actually had much problem with getting damage from the barrels, to be perfectly honest. I don't know. All right, so what what am I thinking about here? Hmm. Oh, that actually shows. Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. And I have eight, so I could probably get a five and a three, or maybe two fours. I mean, this would um, this would actually give me a reason to um, continue using that grenade. But if I can, um, I think what I'll do is I'll focus on the regular grenade, and I'll get um, this thing. Because if I could just fire. And I'll either get this one or this one. Non-damaging explosive. Okay, that doesn't sound so interesting. 
That one would, would be nice to get, but I only have three, so I'm going to get this one. I can fire a lot more grenades, and I'm going to use grenades more often. Why not? All right, um... Now, um, what was the, uh... That really does look like the BFG, doesn't it? Hmm. Now, what was the um, other stuff? I have 18 of something. remember what it is, what it's for, I mean. I mean, I can unlock uh, some of these things. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, I only have three of those batteries. Hmm. Take a quick gander around here, see what we've got. Here's a shard. Another shard. All right, um. Mind me, I'm just doing a little exploring of this uh, here castle of mine. This thing, whatever it is, requires two. What do you think that is? I have three of them. I could unlock it, but I'd rather not until I have a. I find out what that thing actually is. Or maybe once I get more of those batteries. I'm still trying to figure out what that thing on the top right that says 18 next to it is. Uh, wait, no, I think actually those are weapon points. So I can upgrade my, now I remember. Okay, so let's uh, take a look here. All right, um, bigger boom size, I think I already got that. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a look here. Precision bolt. That could be useful, but it's not that much of an increase. Hmm. Take a look at this one. 37.5%. 50%. I mean, that mastery does not seem useful at all, actually, because it then dilutes the purpose of it. Mm. About the super shotgun. General improvements to the super shotgun power. 
meat hook recharge time and decrease by what is the meat hook hmm let me take a look at the codex here for the super shotgun. See if there's a, a tutorial on the super shotgun about this meat hook thing. I, I I don't know what it is. Maybe I have to be near an enemy for that to work. I don't know. So yeah, I, I don't know um, what I want to do in regards to actually upgrading any of the stuff. Maybe I just start getting stuff, I guess. Launch uh, five of them before having to reload. I guess I'll get this thing because that's the one that I really need to work faster when I use it <sighs> let's see here maybe this as well and I guess this thing all right I upgraded things that I use and then as far as anything else goes uh, I don't know I would just jump into the next um, next level maybe get a little bit of the way into this before I call crooks today Super Gore Nest. So how are we supposed to find this last priest then? So he's stuck at 99%. Ah, here we go.
All right. Please remain calm. You may notice a slight change in the environment. Fear not. It's all part of the plan. The plan. The Super Gornest location is nearby. This is the site where the invasion began. The oldest and most corrupted location on the planet. The Ark fought hard, but they were eventually driven out by the demons. Alright. Look at that. That is a destroyed landscape now, isn't it? <laughs> okay, what? What was that? I guess I need to do that. Okay, I wasn't supposed to do that. I was getting annoyed. Okay, go up. That extra life is not going to be so easy to get now, is it? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Damn it. Guess I didn't handle that so well. Hmm. At least I got to see what that whole thing was like.
the one I'm supposed to get in there. the most efficient way, but it was fairly effective. I'm not particularly talkative right now, I'm just sort of concentrating on this. Up. That doesn't make any sense. Come on, game. I totally did that. Yeah. It's annoying because now I have to do this all over again. Maybe the faster glory kill would be helpful. And then that, but then again, that means fewer iframes, fewer more, less invincibility time. I mean. What's that secret up there? If I can get past this combat encounter, I'll try to get that. If yeah. sure, I will eventually.
really close to that. It's not cool. Get rid of this annoying guy. There we go, that's what I tried to do last time. Those things are very important. Cool. Ah, crap. Right. These guys. when I don't have any shotgun shells. Perfect. Do that, I guess. Grenades are free. They just are on a cooldown. All right, let's take a look at the map here. I somehow end up getting that extra life? No? Alright, um... So we got some areas down here we might be able to... I saw a cave somewhere down there. I know there's a question mark somewhere up there. Look, shotgun ammo. There it is. How would I go about getting up there though. Got some. Codex here. Ah, looks like we've got a, one of those things, a battery. A rune? Question mark. Got a lot of stuff in this area, but I need to figure out how to get to this stuff. I to figure out how to get to at least some of it. Right? Looks like the objective is right above me. Now we can get another weapons mod. Let's take a look at what our options are. 
Hold left to charge up an energy projectile that embeds in demons and explodes. I guess there was a weapon I got in Doom 2016 that was like this. That's sort of an area of effect uh, attack that might be useful. But I have a feeling that this can sping at its low on ammo is probably more useful. So I'm going to get this. We'll see if I end up actually using it. Like there's a way over there from there, so yeah, let's uh, get. All right, so I need to get up there somehow. Maybe that's the answer. up with the uh, ra raging music right now. There's nothing really going on. this secret. Now, maybe I can use this as a base for which I can get up to this platform over here. That doesn't seem to I'm watching on. Hmm. I'll need to do that. This looks like a key symbol. I'm not sure. Let's try blowing it up first. That's not gonna work. That required the blue key. Excuse me, I had a powerful sneeze there. Ooh. And there's another. Me sneezes usually come in pairs.
dag damn it Because it worked, but because it also got me a bunch of health. All right, let's um take a look here. Hmm. I don't know. It, it seems like you should be able to get there somehow, but I can't figure out how. Though we got some items in here, though. <sighs> Yellow door. So it looks like we're gonna need some key parts in order to progress. Open up this door at least. Um. Plus it doesn't answer the question of how am I supposed to get that thing, but whatever. Or how am I supposed to get in there? Nope. And nope. <sighs> Five armor. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to do a lot of good. Okay, let's uh, take a look here. I mean, I guess progressing to the next objective is the obvious answer, because then might give me access to some of the later secrets. Maybe? Buff Totem. Increases speed and damage of nearby enemies. And buff uh, demons will endlessly respawn until the buff totem is destroyed. Melee the totem to remove the buff on the demons. What? Okay. Just in case it wasn't hard enough. Hey, guess what? Where is this totem? There it is. I think. <sighs> no way in there, apparently.
look at that. Gotta do that until those things appear, maybe? Take that thing, good sir. things, eh? Trying to get to that one thing. Wait, I got something, but not necessarily the thing. I got the yellow key anyway, so... I'm trying to get to this thing right here. There is a way to get to it, I can't see it. I needed to annihilate all those guys at once. Or very quickly anyway. I am low on health. I have no idea if that's what's needed for me to um to get past the um one area, but whatever. Earth is the melting pot of the universe. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's how we get it. Choose a rune. Well, let's see here. Uh, perform glory kills faster. 
Guess I'll have that, but... Let's, um, I guess I could always switch to that after I use up the, um, free, uh, help, free life one. didn't turn out so well now did it I think I have one of those left. <sighs> What? It didn't get for either? Dag damn it! Ah, stupid game. Why didn't it change to the regular shotgun? It makes no sense. Let's see if we can go in here and get some 
shotgun ammo, maybe. a really annoying guy with the shield, the barrier projector. There he is. Two of them. Another weapon point. Alright, you get over here. I need ammo. And it gives me some health, too. I'll take that. Take a look at the map. Hmm. See something up there I could potentially get, maybe. There's uh, some shotgun ammo. I'll take that. Two more keys will be required to open the passage. Find them. It's actually a um, little past the two hour mark, so I think I'm actually going to call it a quit, call it quits here. But I'll definitely be back here tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. for more Doom Eternal. But I do have to go back to work today, and I'm feeling fine. Although I'm not looking forward to going there, but whatever, I am considered an essential employee. And yeah, what's going on with that thing? Seems pretty gnarly. In any case, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate when people take time to watch my videos and streams and such. Just as a quick reminder, I do a stream like this almost every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday to Thursday. I do a retro stream on Monday night at 8 p.m. and a modern stream on Wednesday night at 11 p.m. Both of those are Eastern Standard Times. So tonight, I'll be playing a little Shantae, half, half Genie Hero. I was supposed to do that last Wednesday, but that's when my illness set in, and it was at its worst. So, yeah, I'll be doing that tonight. And I do 4K and or HDR uploads on Friday. I usually publish on Saturday. And this Friday, I'll be doing Halo Reach as part of the Master, my ongoing Master Chief Collection series. So, I'll see you back here tonight at 11 p.m. for Shantae Half Genie Hero. And tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. for more Doom Eternal both on the Xbox One. And until then, take it easy.